hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel journey with vijay kumar srivastava today we are going to study the topic monocropping and monoculture before presentation i would like to introduce myself in brief i am vijay kumar srivastava i have done ms agriculture with specialized in agronomy from jb pant university of agriculture and technology pant nagar in nagar in 1996 and presently associated with private job in seed industry so let's proceed to the presentation now to understand monocropping monocropping is the agricultural practice of growing a single crop only one crop of same species year after year on the same land in absence of rotation the examples like growing only ravi crops in dry lands or only jayad crops in diara lands groundnut or cotton or sorghum cultivation once in a year due to limitation of rainfall or flu cure tobacco is grown in guntur andhra pradesh due to a specialization of a farmer in growing a particular crop and rice crop is grown in canal irrigated areas and under water logged conditions because other crops is not possible to grow monoculture monoculture crop production is the system in which a single crop of same crop species is grown on the same piece of land year after year or season after season or every season this is the practice of repetitive growing of only one crop irrespective of its intensity on the same land examples like growing rice 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 in kerala west bengal odisha in three cropping seasons continuously and growing of bajra and bajra rotations in rajasthan and Gujarat states maize soybeans and wheat crops are three common crops often grown using monocropping monoculture techniques globally monocropping allows for farmers to have consistent crops throughout their entire farm they can plant only the most profitable crop use the same seed pest control methods machinery and growing methods on their entire farm which may increase overall farm profitability this is due to climatologically or socio economic conditions or due to specialization of a farmer in growing a particular crop monoculture has not been generally successful in the past because non legume crops usually exhaust the nitrogen in the soil with resulting reduction in yields this is particularly true in humid regions while there are some distinct advantage to this technique it is environmentally questionable and can potentially lead to serious economic problems for farmers as well benefits of monoculture system the monoculture system has been shown to have positive effects on farm productivity and profitability the main advantages of this farm system are like higher crop yields by continuously growing only one crop a farmer can develop the best farm practices to achieve high yields yield optimization growing crops adopted on certain environmental conditions such as drought saline soils or high temperature helps to maintain a sustainable yield lower cost input monoculture relies on machinery used instead of human labor which is more expensive growing only one crop allows farmers to save money by only having to employ one set of farm machinery in being able to afford all needed machinery he will become more likely to have a successful crop production then simplicity in monoculture system monoculture are very simple farming and agricultural systems it primarily involves soil preparation irrigation and the input of where needed all focused on the preferences of one particular plant species as such the fields are significantly specialized towards the maximum production of yields from the specific crop in case of monoculture there it lowers the amount of extra land or resource requirement the plants specifically use synthesized fertilizers reducing the amount of additional land needed to produce food the animals at the same time 
would require the same fertilization mechanism. Then profitability. When one distinct crop is grown at the same time, it means only one method of harvesting will be needed. It is efficient and more profitable for farmer. Crops best suited for a field can be planted against harsh climatic conditions like drought, winds, and short growth growing seasons, favoring the crop and thus having less impact on the yield. The form of agriculture is common for growing wheat, vegetables, barley, or unique species of fruits in vast fields. Disadvantages of monoculture system First one is soil degradation and erosion. The depletion of soil nutrients, especially nitrogen, leads to weakness in soil and an inability to support healthy growth of plants. Along with nutrients depletion, there is damage to the natural constituents of soil due to increased use of fertilizers and it will lead to soil degradation and erosion. Second is increased infestation of pests, diseases and weeds. Monocultures are more susceptible to certain weeds and insect pests, which means that pesticides are used to protect against that. Weeds and insect pests can spread faster in a monoculture because of the lack of biological diversity. When one plant is susceptible to a pest, it means that all other plants of the same species are likely to suffer from it. In case of furthermore use of pesticides to control, there will be resistance development in insects and weeds. Next disadvantage is reduced soil fertility. When growing only one crop on the field, it leads to intensive farming throughout the farm. When growing these crops every year in such a manner, it leads to depletion of soil nutrients. Then high use of fertilizers. Due to its very nature, monoculture farming means cultivating one crop usually at an intense manner and on a large scale. For instance, corn, wheat, soya beans, cotton and rice are commonly grown this way in the United States. But growing the same crops year in year out depletes valuable soil nutrients that plants rely on. So this deficiency is compensated for by using increased amount of fertilizers. Next disadvantage is results in the use of harmful chemicals. As you discussed earlier, how monoculture crops are more at risk from weeds and pests along with increased susceptibility and greater attraction of pests. It would only make sense why there would be greater need of pesticides for such farmlands. Next is environmental pollution and climate change. The effects of both pesticides and fertilizers on health and our environment are well known with a lot of these chemicals finding their way into groundwater sources and in the air where they create further pollution. Next is declining biodiversity. In addition to the environmental and health risks of monoculture, monoculture favors the cultivation of a specific crops and breeds. This not only means more limited options for the consumer, but it also means that our farming practices are impacting our planet's biodiversity. In case of monoculture, there is more requirement of water to irrigate. This means that monoculture are very thirsty crops, but also very efficient when it comes to water utilization. Farmers often need to irrigate monoculture crops more than other crops, while at the same time, the capacity of soils to absorb the water and retain moisture is diminishing. Instead, lot of water is wasted, simply running off or quickly evaporating from the unsilted surface. In monoculture, there is high risk of harvest loss. The practice of monoculture is very dangerous when natural disasters or shifting weather devastate a crop. A farmer with dust crop could afford to take a small loss if one crop failed to yield, but in a region where only crop is grown, 
द रिजल्ट कैन बी कैटेट्रॉफिक फार्मर्स में फाइंड देम सेल्फ हैवली इन डेप्ट एट द एंड ऑफ द सीजन एंड द लैक ऑफ हार्वेस्ट कूड ट्रांसलेट इन टू फेमिन और जनरल हार्डशिप नेक्स्ट डिसएडवांटेज मोनोकल्चर यूजेज ए लॉट ऑफ फॉसिल फ्यूल एनर्जी मोनोकल्चर फार्म्स आर इंडस्ट्रियलाइज सिस्टम्स दे इम्प्लॉय मैकेनाइजेशन ऑन ए लार्ज स्केल ट्रांसपोर्ट हाई अमाउंट्स ऑफ प्रोड्यूस कवर लार्ज डिस्टेंसेज इन डेली ऑपरेशन एंड प्रोसेस टन्स ऑफ मेटेरियल दीज एक्टिविटीज रिक्वायर एनर्जी एनर्जी दैट इज इन मोस्ट केसेज सप्लाइड फ्रॉम फॉसिल फ्यूल्स बिकॉज इट्स चीपर एंड मोर इफिशियंट देन रिन्यूएबल सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी अदर एरियाज वेयर सिग्निफिकेंट अमाउंट्स ऑफ एनर्जी आर कंज्यूम्ड आर इरीगेशन वाटर पंपिंग एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन बट इवन थ्रो आउट द लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर केमिकल्स नेक्स्ट डिसएडवांटेज पोल्यूट्स ग्राउंड वाटर सप्लाईज देर इज इंक्रीज रन ऑफ फ्रॉम मोनोकल्चर्स इज द मेन कॉज ऑफ एक्सेसिव एल्गल ब्लूम इन वाटर बॉडीज दैट पोल्यूट ड्रिंकिंग वाटर सप्लाईज किल सेंसिटिव एक्वेटिक स्पेसिज एंड इन द वर्स्ट केस रिजल्ट इन द क्रिएशन ऑफ जॉन्स विथ सच ए लो ऑक्सीजन कंटेंट इन वाटर that animals cannot survive in this habitat monoculture is having threat to plant biodiversity despite the potential to achieve high and stable yields the monoculture system may have negative effects on the soil environment and human livelihood including rural depopulation where case in rural areas large monoculture crop productions take available water resources and land and local population is forced to leave they are migrating from one place to other in search of next resources the market becomes dominated by only a few intensively grown crops which is disabling a small holder farmers to sell their goods increased input of artificial fertilizers to boost the crop yield in monoculture increased input of chemical pesticides due to increased insect pest and disease occurrence there is threat to plant and animal biodiversity soil degradation after years of monoculture farming the soil becomes exhausted and contains less nutrients crop production stability plants that have adapted to growing under a specific environment conditions are more vulnerable to changes putting the yields at risk the examples of monoculture like first potato farming in ireland cattle rearing in the united states forestry by growing a specific species on a large scale then banana farming in the united states cultivation of beans in central america large scale production of corn large scale wheat production and rice and cotton as monoculture crops now solutions and alternatives to monoculture and monocropping farmers can rotate crops planting different types of plants in each fields annually and they can also periodically allow fields to lie fallow to recover by fallow there will be some improvement in health status of fields some farmers also encourage the practice of mixing crops in the fields each year using a combination of crops to strengthen the soil and create a more diverse yield crop rotation is a good foundation that is important to managing healthy and sustainable farming and protecting the environment each farmer is responsible for deciding whether or not to practice a monoculture production system of farming polyculture where more than one crop a species is grown in the same piece at the land same time is the alternative to monoculture now we will go through some notable historical examples of widespread monoculture system first one is the irish potato famine potatoes cultivated by reproducing vegetatively and therefore most potatoes grown in ireland in the 1830s and 1840s had identical genotypes Irish potato variety was grown extensively 
which was happened to be extremely susceptible to late blight which is caused by phytophthora infestans potato had become the primary food source for the poor and when the disease was finally introduced to the region massive crop failure was inevitable the great irish famine that occurred in ireland in 1845 to 49 when the potato crop failed in successive years the crop failures were caused by late blight of potato a disease that destroys both the leaves and the edible roots or tubers of the potato plant the causative agent of the late blight is the water mold phytophthora infestans the irish famine was the worst to occur in europe in the 19th century the worst year of the period was 1847 which is known as black 47 during the famine about 1 million people died and a million more immigrated causing ireland's population to fall by between 20 to 25 percent next example is bengal famine of 1943 coquilobolus miabianus which is formerly known as helminthosporum origi is a fungus that causes brown spot disease in rice the disease was the causal agent of bengal famine of 1943 is an important plant pathogen because it causes a common and widespread rice disease that causes high level of crop yield losses it was a major cause of bengal famine of 1943 where the crop yield was dropped by 40 to 90 percent and the death of 2 million people was recorded it is a possible agroterrorism weapon other non severe crop losses cases caused by coquilobolus miabianus are globally disturbed in the philippines rice seedling mortality rate was up to 60% in india and nigeria it can reduce total crop yields by up to 40% similar losses are observed in suriname and sumatra so this is because of widespread and monocropping monoculture pattern of rice cultivation next is victoria oat blight the oat variety victoria bred was known to be resistant to crown rust a problematic disease in oats By 1945 well over half of US oat production had Victoria oat as a parent line then a new fungal pathogen came along and it turns out that Victoria oats were highly sensitive and the pathogen was later named as Victoria blight it turned out the same gene that resulted in resistance to crown rust but interestingly due to hypersensitive response it was resulted in high susceptibility to victoria blight because so many of the oat varieties had this particular gene losses were widespread because of monoculture cultivation practices of oat next is texas male sterility in corn in order corn hybrids male parents and female parents are grown in close proximity it is also necessary to have the male plants provide the only source of pollen to ensure the females don't self pollinate the female plants are detasseled so only the desired male parent plants produced pollen corn detasseling is expensive and labor intensive then the texas cytoplasm cmst was discovered where the cms is for cytoplasmic male styline and t refer texas use of cms t means there was no need to detasel the corn because the cms cms texas made it so much easier to produce hybrids up to 90% of the us corn crop contained cms t lines in the late 1960s and early 1970s because of popularity but along with male sterility the gene also resulted in dramatic susceptibility to bipolaris medis or southern corn leaf blight which meant 90% of the us corn crop was extremely susceptible to corn leaf blight and yield losses over two year period were were dramatic and use of cms texas line was rapidly discontinued so this presentation was all about monoculture and monocropping hope this will be useful to all of you 
थैंक यू वेरी मच आई हैव गिवन योर माय यूट्यूब चैनल डिटेल्स जर्नी विद विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव हैविंग रिक्वेस्ट प्लीज विजिट द चैनल सब्सक्राइब इट एंड प्रोवाइड योर काइंड एंड वेल्यूबल फीडबैक्स थैंक यू